Mark, we've just been talking about the potentially disinflationary nature of tech, particularly software, in this time when we've got supply chain bottlenecks, people really leaning on software and the cloud to get insight into what to do next. How are you seeing that play out, both in demand overall at MongoDB and the technologies that you're trying to develop to serve the customer tomorrow? Well, first off, thanks for having me here today. CNBC Tech Council is awesome. I've been a member for three years now, and I just love what you guys are doing. On the supply chain stuff, as you know, John, we've seen MongoDB do really well over the last couple of years, and that's because all of these people, even before this recent supply chain, chain drama that's going on, they need to digitize every piece of their supply chain. So we see people like Box, who in March of 2020 grew their business by 30x, all backed by MongoDB without an outage. Mm -hmm. Try that with legacy technology. I know you talk to some of the legacy people sometimes. Um, when you think about the supply chain and you think about what's going on, you need to track everything from the truck to the carton to the container. And that's something we've been really working on with IoT and time series data. So you talk about the features we're offering. We are offering more and more features to let people manage every piece of their business, both the physical piece and the digital piece. What are you hearing from customers on that? Cristiano Amon, the CEO of Qualcomm, was just on with us yesterday talking about retail at the intelligent edge. The idea that when the shelves of a grocery store get connected like they're trying to do with Walmart, you've got this flow of data that allows certain companies that are you know, prepared with the right technology to have an advantage even in difficult supply chain times. Are customers coming to you trying to make sure they have an advantage in that arena? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. So we, our whole goal as a company is to produce software which developers can use to write applications faster. No one can outsource their innovation. No one can outsource their competitive advantage. And in particular, what they're finding for us is that we provide the set of tools and a platform they can use. We're a B2B company. They can use for their B2C businesses to do better recommendations, better fraud detection, better pivoting quickly. And so if you build an organization that uses the right software tools, you can make better decisions. And we're seeing companies throughout pharmacy, throughout retail, throughout consumer packaged goods, all using MongoDB for that. Tell us about talent. Uh, the, the labor market is very tight right now. Mm -hmm. There was already a skills gap when it comes to technology talent before. Uh, what's, how is MongoDB positioned when you talk about this, the great resignation? Are they resigning yeah. from MongoDB or are they resigning and coming to MongoDB? So that's funny. We, I don't think of it as the great resignation. I actually think of it as either the great hiring for us and the great rebalancing for everyone else. The reality is, is that as a result of the pandemic, people changed where they worked and when they worked sometimes. We've always been focused on how people work at MongoDB. And in fact, just in the last two months, some of the greatest technical engineers in the, on the planet have joined our company because of our empowered bottoms up culture. And you work remote, right? And I work remote. In fact, I am physically in Seattle and I work for a New York company and, and I love it. Now, the reality is, is companies have to sit down and they need to really take a deeper look at how they're running their staff. And you and I are on a panel later today where we're going to talk about how executives at this council need to run their companies different in order to make this hybrid new environment a place people want to come to.